I am a big old dummy. Hey, welcome back. Once again, I'm Chris Noosh, and uh, I just finished up a bunch of projects and exciting times. I get to film myself working on starting a new project. Um, it is Wednesday in the week, and I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm going to uh, do something small this week. And I'm going to, uh, into the future from now until Christmas time, I'm going to focus on one project per video and it's not going to be like a weekly structure it's just going to be like one project per video um, but what i'm going to work on in this video is a small little uh carved and painted framed piece i've got a little piece of uh, wood i've got some frame that was weirdly worded piece of wood plus frame i draw on the wood i make art thing boom that's the formula for this week um don't know what I'm gonna draw yet, but I got my pencil. And I'm just gonna start sketching, see what comes to my mind, see what works. Well, I don't know why, but I had it on my brain to draw a manatee today. And um, I didn't know what really I wanted to do with it. So I just started sketching and the way that its little flippers were hanging out um, and the way those little belly was poking out in this sketch. I was like, well, it needs to be holding something. So I just put an ice cream key ice cream cone in its hand. I like to draw little uh, little moss things on its back, slow moving manatees. I think it's kind of indicative of, of them and it kind of tells a story a little bit more. The ones that have the moss on their back are the ones that stay in and don't go out to sea as often or ever. Uh, they're the older ones. So I think the older ones are the ones that would probably enjoy the ice cream the most. So this is what I drew. Thought it was kind of fun, little head poking out, just so showed the little sea potato hanging out underneath the water. Quick and easy, I came up with just this little uh, manatee eating an ice cream cone. Initial thoughts, um, I think I'm gonna make the ice cream green, kind of like uh, lettuce or seagrass or something. We'll see, but I gotta carve this little guy out now. These little carved and painted pieces are always pretty fun for me to do because I consider them kind of like little sketches, something I can do in an afternoon. It doesn't really take a whole lot of time for me to work on these little pieces. Um, and I don't really put a, I put a, I put effort into them. I don't want to say I don't want to put a whole lot of effort into them, but I, they allowed me to have my quick ideas come out um, and just work on something new for the day. And tomorrow I can work on something different. I don't really have to um, uh, come up with a big idea. I can just come up with like a little stupid idea and move on with my creativity. Um, so I really enjoy these little pieces for that reason. It kind of allows me to clear my brain and move forward. Um, and I also like using just like new techniques with this, like with the little back pieces. I, I was using the U gouge, which I don't use very often to get a different shaped mark for the little uh, moss on the back of the back of the, on the back of the back, on the back of the vanity, back, back, back. How many times can I say that? But I also like doing like the transition between under the water and over the water, different views, different worlds coming together. Just think this is a fun little carving. But what wasn't super fun is these radiating lines on the back. I decided to get rid of those and just simplify the above the water area a little bit more. So I'm finished with the little manatee carving, the little manatee eating some ice cream. And uh, something interesting happened yesterday. I'm a big old dummy. And shortly after I finished carving this little carving, I injured myself. I cut my thumb up pretty good and I had to uh, had to go get it stitched up. And if you're queasy and stuff, there's two types of people. There's the ones that are queasy and don't want to see anything. And there's the ones that are curious and want to see it all. And so I know if I don't show it, uh, the second group of people is, is not going to be super happy. So close your eyes if you don't want to see it for the next couple seconds and I'll tell you when it's off the screen. But uh, yeah, I had to go get, I think it's like eight stitches in my thumb. It is currently on the screen, so don't look. Um, it is now off the screen. So I hurt myself. And I just, I um, did a little bit of a practice 
carve, and my thumb doesn't really play a huge role in me of my carving. So I think I can still do a little bit of carving, but I'm gonna be taking it easy for the next couple of days. Take one step forward with finishing all my projects, and now I have to take a step back a little bit with a with a pretty injured thumb. Uh, but that's not gonna stop me from painting this little guy this week. So for what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go paint this guy, and then I'll ink him up, and then we'll talk about uh, what I like about it later. All right, let me go paint him up. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I have to come up with a color scheme for this because I think it could be fun. But I'm, let me go uh, think about that real quick. All right, so I've decided I'm going to go with a tetrad, tetrad color scheme. And I'm going to be doing yellow green, blue green, and then red violet and red orange are my four colors I'm going to be using as I paint this up. And I'm going to I'm going to follow that pretty closely, but you know, I'm going to mix and match some stuff around and blend some stuff together. But those are going to be my four main color rules that I follow. All right, let's get to painting. Let's get to painting. So with the color scheme that I chose, I may have gone a little bit too purple with this purpley color, but it's hard to tell that until I actually paint it. But I, you know, I like how the final piece came out. Purple, green, orange. I think it all kind of worked together. And I kind of threw the pink in just to, for a splash of different. Um, oh, spoiler alert. The ice cream cone's gonna be pink. I like the seafoam green that I did in the water. I use that also for the moss on the back, various degrees of light and dark of, of that different green. So I don't know. I just kind of like have fun playing with colors for these little pieces. Once again, little ideas. I can have fun with them, do things that are different. Um, maybe not look super different to you guys, but for me, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm doing things I wouldn't necessarily do in a larger piece. I don't know. What do you think? I do think it came out pretty good. Maybe the water's a little bit too on the green side, but that fit to the color scheme rules that I built for myself when I made this piece. Maybe next time I'll do a no rules painting for one of these little carved and painted pieces. Now let's start inking it up. And then just like that, this little piece is completed. It is finished. Just a little manatee eating some ice cream. Yeah, finished. Um, so that's all I have for you really this week. Thumbs up, yay. <laughs> um, I got a couple of t-shirts I need to print. I'm gonna run those through right now. Um, but then I'll uh, hopefully see you guys later next week for something else. So thanks for watching. See you guys later, thanks, bye. I didn't realize how much I actually use my thumb in my day to day doing anything. Um, I thought that I could pretty much print these shirts one handed and I can, cause I did, but it took me about twice as long. I use my thumb way more than I thought I would. I, the main thing my thumb does is it puts the board that I have inside the shirts into the shirt as I use that, my left thumb to open it up. I also use my left thumb to pick up the blocks and picking everything up with my right hand, even though that's my dominant hand was pretty stressful. Um, I also use my left thumb to drop the block onto the t-shirt. So for each one of these, I was dangling the block that I was about to print onto the t-shirt precariously with my pinky, hoping I didn't drop it on the brand new pristine t-shirt. Thankfully, I didn't mess up any shirts. I got them all done just very, very slowly. All right, now really, that's all I have for you this week, guys. Thanks for watching. Go have yourself an ice cream and kiss your thumb for me.